Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about why humans love their pets. You'll see the most stoic people. They will bust out crying when their dog dies, when their cat dies, when their parakeet dies. And you think, dude, I have never seen you shed a tear in my life. Even when your cousin Bobby passed away, you didn't cry at his funeral, but you're crying because your bird died? What gives, man? And for a long time, I didn't understand it. Because for a long time, I never liked pets. I thought pets were disgusting. And logically, I could not sell myself on the idea of why I would want an animal living with me and I'm cleaning up after the animal. By the time that I moved to Virginia, I recall that there were a lot of people living in this one particular mansion, as you can say. We were basically allowed to stay in this mansion as we were getting trained by this company. And within this mansion, there was this dog. And I didn't like this dog initially. Uh, the way that Virginia works is that it's typically three stories. The basement is seen as the first floor that you enter. Uh, then there's that second floor where, with the living room, kitchen, and all of that. Then there's that third floor with all the rooms. Since I was the newest person, I was staying in the basement. It was cold. I didn't have a bed. I had a couch only. And anytime I wanted to go upstairs to the kitchen to make myself something to eat, there was that dog sniffing up on me, licking my palm, and just being nasty. I thought, Man, I can't stand this dog. I can't stand Virginia. I can't stand this place. And one day I was getting homesick. I really wanted to move back to Florida. I was lying on my couch. I had to call in sick because I was feeling really sick. And as I was feeling very upset, I recalled that this dog came downstairs and just sat next to me. Thus far, living in this house, the dog had never come downstairs. But on this particular day, when I was so upset, the dog just came downstairs. And you want to know something? Humans that love their pets, they all have a story like this. They all have this story where they're like, dude, I kid you not. There was this one day that I was feeling so down and my pet, they just knew. And whenever they try to tell others, they're like, yeah, man, yeah, whatever. You're just imagining it. But pet owners, they really know. And once that dog came downstairs, I started to build a soft spot for it. Unfortunately, this dog was very old. And there was this one day that there was this huge health scare where the dog was actually going to die. And the entire house, including me, was panicking. Luckily, the dog was able to survive, but during that moment, I got a glimpse into why humans love their pets. And the real reason why is because the human, especially the stoic guy, uh, they can take that mask that they have with society off near their pet, and their pet never judges them for it. The pet understands the human completely for who that human is. And that's why when that pet disappears, the human feels like a part of himself or herself is now missing. So the real reasons that a human being, they break down whenever they lose their pet is because they have that one story of when they were feeling down, depressed, anxious, and their pet knew. It's like they had that sixth sense. They came and comforted the owner. And another reason that they cry is because uh, they can really be themselves completely unfiltered near their pet. One social hack to understand is if you know someone with a pet and you have no clue what to talk to them about, ask them about their pet. You will suddenly transform this quiet person into a very talkative person and you will have a lot of conversation material. If you enjoyed today's talk, drop that like for me right on below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and never miss another video again. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will catch you next time.